again. It is Kelsey, and this is Real with Mrs. B. I am back to give you kind of like a life update, what's been going on. And um, I just filmed the August mid-month uh, budget update, and then I went to the gym, finally, because I've been avoiding it for several months, and I decided I need to stop making excuses, and I need to actually go. There was no excuse to not go, so I did it. And I'm back, and I probably look really gross, but I said I was going to do this video, so I'm going to do it. All right, um, in several of my videos, I mentioned um, some bad Murphy things that kind of happened. So I want to give you an update on that and uh, my job search and all of that good old stuff. So first things first, I did get um, two bills for um, going to the doctor to get uh, a couple moles removed, if you recall. And um, I got an unexpected bill, one for $136 about, and the other one was like $205. An update on that is um, I did pay the bill for the healthcare clinic I went to. That was the $136 one. And uh, the other one I have not paid yet. However, that's why I have a sinking fund for health care you know, needs and... Um, I do plan on paying that, however, it's not my top priority right now. Um, as you know, I'm not working in August due to working summer school and then not starting um, my new job for a couple weeks. Anyway, I'm going to pay it probably in September or October, but um, it's just not a huge priority to me compared to my student loans. So let me know if you disagree. That's totally fine. You can let me know below. But uh, that's one thing on the Murphy list. Another was uh, the apartment fire security deposit credit thing. <laughs> so uh, long story short, hopefully, is uh, they gave us a credit of $527. Um, and now they are asking for $500 back, saying that they um, incorrectly gave us a credit by giving us our security deposit back. So um, if you recall in my last uh, budget update video, um, or end of the July budget, whatever, um, <laughs> that we, I saved an extra $500 and uh, put it aside for making this payment back to them, right, for the $500 they're asking for. Well, um, I haven't paid it yet because I feel like it's the only thing um, that's keeping, basically, I think that the credit is incorrect. That means that we only got a credit of $27. Um, if I pay the $500, they are just going to, you know, not care. So, um, what I did was I sent an email to my manager and said, listed out the dates that we were not in either apartment. And I said, I just want to correct a credit before we pay the 500 back. And um, basically, the apartment fire happened on March 22nd. It wasn't until that Saturday that we actually moved out of our apartment into the other apartment. We did get the keys the following day after the fire. However, with no bed, um, everything was completely filthy, full of soot. There was no way that we could breathe that stuff in. Uh, we were not living at either apartment until actually the following Monday, but I'm asking for the five days to get credit. All right, so my manager emailed me back and said, you know, I'm letting who, so whoever know. And uh, then she called me a couple days ago and said, oh, well, we did give you a credit of $262. And I said, no, you did not. And she said, well, I'll print off the form or all the transactions and you can see for yourself, um, you know, you can come pick it up. So I went straight down to the office and this is what she gave me. And maybe you can see this, maybe you can't, but she highlighted a credit for $262. That is correct. However, if you can see all these transactions, they are ridiculous. There are credits. There are reversals, there's transfers. I mean, there's a bunch of mumble jumble. However, if you go to this sheet, which she also gave me, I uh, circled a couple things. 
If you look at the balance transfer, reverse transfer, all of that, when it when it balances out, you can see that it comes to negative $527. Then you can see John and I both making our rent payments. That's when we used to make payments separately, and um, it came out to zero. So I told her, please just look at what we paid for rent each month because we never actually received $262. Yes, we received $527, but they're asking for $500 back, so really only $27. I'm just so annoyed by this at this point. Like, I feel like I'm telling them, you know, how to do their job or, you know, how to look at some of these sheets. Maybe I'm being completely ridiculous. Please let me know if I'm fighting something I shouldn't be fighting. Um, I feel like we deserve to have a credit for the days that we were without an apartment. Um, I feel like they keep saying that they gave us stuff when they didn't and they're kind of working around it. If they were to just tell me, no, you got the keys, we're not going to do it, fine. But they keep saying that they gave us credit. Um, anyway... We're still working through it. Uh, my manager is on vacation. Who knows if the other lady will call me again. I just want to talk to someone in person and show, like, just look at what we paid for rent. We never got that credit. Anyway, sorry, that was a big rant. <laughs> um, all right, next thing, the reason I haven't been here for, like, a week. It feels like it's been forever. I've been wanting to put up a video. I even tried recording from my phone this life update video. And it got to like eight minutes and it stopped recording and I kept talking to myself uh, for another few minutes. And anyway, I never, <laughs> didn't end up posting it. Uh, so my computer was in the shop. Um, it has not been charging. Like it plugs in but it doesn't charge and it's at 4%. But anytime that you unplug it, it immediately turns off because it doesn't have enough power. So, um, obviously, this is, was a concern, you know, um, I need to move my laptop around, and anyway, uh, since we didn't have to use the money we put aside for a new mattress, we used some of that um, to fix my computer. So, I went to a shop, they quoted me $125, I said, that's too much, and he said, well, what can you afford? I said, $75, and he said, we can make that work. So I got my computer back, and um, they ordered the part, and then it took a few days, and then I gave them my computer, and I think it took all day, if not overnight, to fix it. And we picked it up, and brought it home, and I turned it on, and the screen didn't work. And I was like, well, what the heck, you know? So I bring it right back, and I was like, I didn't do anything to it, but uh, nothing's showing up on the screen. Well, he's saying that um, the cord for the screen, um, it kind of wraps around underneath my computer, and um, because my hinges are, I don't know, cracking the plastic of my computer, that it was putting pressure on the wire, and me opening my computer somehow pinched the wire, and it stopped working. Whatever. Um, so... He was nice enough to say that, um, you know, he would look into it and get back to me. So the next day he calls me and said he found the part. It's only $5. He's going to get shipped over and it's going to be free of charge for me. Fantastic, right? But, um, you know, it took like four days to ship. It finally got there today, which it's what day? Monday. <laughs> and um, then he fixed it and I went and picked it up. Um, I gave an extra 10 to him just for his troubles. Um, I was grateful that he fixed it. He was really kind, but it really sucked not having a laptop for so long. So that's the other thing. And then now moving on to uh, better news. I believe I mentioned that I had a job interview. Um, now, I am a 6th through 12th grade certified um social studies educator and I can teach pretty much any uh, social studies uh, position in 6th through 12th grade, right? So I graduated over a year ago. I got my license and um, I had my bachelor's degree in psychology and sociology 
and I applied for dozens upon dozens upon dozens of jobs. And I was fortunate to get a building substitute job, which means that I was in a middle and high school um, every day, the same one. They were connected and um, it was nice that it was decent pay, not a teacher's salary, but um, I got to see the kids all the time. Um, I built a lot of great relationships with the staff in the building and I didn't have to take home, you know, grading or do any lesson planning. You know, I was just the fun sub that gets to hang out in the classroom that day and follow someone else's lesson plan. So it was fine for the time being. However, my dream is to have a class of my own, my own students that um, I can make a positive difference in the world. And I just love being in front of a classroom and having fun and teaching. So Obviously, I've continued looking for a job. I got a long-term sub position at the end of last year that I taught eighth grade U.S. history. And then I was grateful I got a summer school position that I taught um, money smarts and all around the world. And I actually taught math strategies, too. And then I got this interview for a dream job, like amazing school district, one of the best in the area. And it was for a psychology position. Now, you don't know me, but psychology is awesome. It's fascinating. It's so fun to teach and learn about. Um, it was my absolute dream um, position, right? And the interview was tough. Now, most interviews, um, you go in in front of between like two and six people and interview for whoever knows how long and then... Um, they might call you back for a second interview. Now this one I had to do prepare a 15 minute lesson plan and then have about a 40 minute um, interview and then also a writing assessment, an essay. So I was quite nervous, but I prepared this amazing lesson on memory and I was really excited and it was in front of the admins and a student and they seemed to really enjoy it and then the the interview went amazing, and the writing, that was fine. It was a breeze, and they actually called me back that day and offered me the job. Now, that just doesn't happen to me. I always get passed up, you know, you were great, but we went with someone with more experience. Um, I'm like, well, hire me. I'll show you how great I am, but um, anyway, so the only downfall is it's a long-term sub position. It is, however, for the entire year, which is awesome. The pay is great. I do get benefits, um, but, you know, it's someone else's job. So at the end of the year, who knows? But um, so that's why, like, I think it was like the next day I get a call from another school district wanting to interview also for a psychology position. Um, but it was a 50% position, which means I'd be working every other day. However, they had sub positions for the days I was off. I thought it was a great opportunity because, you know, as a new teacher, you're super busy. I would have time to plan, all of that. Um, so I was like, well, I'm just going to go to the interview and see how it is. You know, I had a great um, connection with the first school, but you'll see. Um, but then you know, I accepted the interview, but then the other school called me to do paperwork about the same time I was going to go to this interview. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stick with it. You know, I, it was great interview. I felt really good about it. I'm just going to go for it. So, um, I went in for paperwork and, uh, they mentioned to me, um, the possibility of there being a position available for me at the end of the year. It seems like a pretty good, um, opportunity. They have two high schools and at least two middle schools so and a huge um, social studies department. So there's a lot of, um, there might be a good possibility for me there. Um, and then I went to a meeting and everything and met some awesome teachers. I met with the, um, the other psychology teacher. I met with the teacher I'm subbing for and everyone's amazing. I'm just so grateful. 
And uh, so I'm going to be teaching AP Psychology. If you don't know, it's a college psych class in high school. I'm teaching abnormal psychology. That's all first semester. Second semester, I'll be teaching intro to psychology, abnormal psych again, and then 20th century. And I am so thrilled. I'm so excited. And um, also, great news is they asked me if I was interested in any coaching. And I met with someone today for uh, forensics. And it looks like I'm going to be the assistant coach of forensics. I did that for three years in high school. And I think it's a great opportunity for students to work on their public speaking skills. Uh, so I'm really excited about that as well, and it'll be a little extra money. Um, so I'm going to be quite busy coming up, but um, I feel like there's a lot of great things in the future. So, as I mentioned in my Murphy video, I think it's really important to stay positive. Obviously, there haven't been awesome things going on financially, but uh, we're working through it, and I'm staying positive, and it looks like great things are in the future. So, uh I would love to hear from you guys. If you can let me know below what's been going on your, in your life, any goods, bads, what's going on. I love to hear from you. And um, I will catch you guys soon in my next video. And as always, if you like what you see, please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.